Incoming transmission. <laughs> Greetings, Battle Tech fans and collectors and war gamers. I'm here to do another review this time i just want to do a quick review for guys and i want to do a um a book it's called battlefield legend heard about it and i was kind of curious and facebook group told me what's it about and and it's just basically a bunch of um historical accounts of books and like the pilots and their mechs, how they use it. And it has very interesting stuff. It has um, from the Star League era, Secession War, Clan Invasion era, Civil War, Jihad, and Dark Age era, and Ill Clan. All that fun stuff. So if you want to start a favorite faction or probably a um, pilot in your faction, you can. this will also help out. As you can see from the background, I just recently finish a lands of um house liao mex and i'm working on other lands because i right now i have currently three of them and most of them were from the old from the old era of um battle tech the old plastic the 25 and several of the 30 i think and um i had a i have a multiple copies of Max, and you had seen them in the in one of my battle reports and i am working on that one battle report right now um i finally finished the briefing i just need to do some editing and all that stuff and i'll probably try to get it done by this month or probably next month but here are the what's in the inside you got from this starlink era we got Charles Kincaid, and some of their bios are in here on this page, and the mechs that they use, the Mackie. I suspect we're going to get a Mackie soon from Catalyst, but I would love to have that in my arsenal. And we got General Kerensky. This, the painting and the portraits, they're quite different from what we're used to, so um, very interesting. And this is his um, Orion K. I have that in the new set. This is basically is gearing towards the Catalyst Plastic stuff. But I have the one with the metal with General Kerensky's statue, um, little figure. But I put a little statue on them. Um, I turn it into a statue. And it's a terrain piece. And the Highlander, we got Elizabeth Hazen. And you all know about her exploit during the MRS Civil War and that stuff. And there's her mix. It tells everything from from their bios and all that stuff. And we go to the Secession War era. Sorry, I'm holding the, the, the camera right now and not a good um and Jerome Winston. These are all from the Star League era, so the Marauder. So if you want to start a Star League era SLDF um, Marauder, this is it. Um, this is how the color scheme is. So just plain, plain olive drab green. Yeah, and here with the Secession War era stuff. You got a little bit of um stuff like little um notes and stories. I do have the um, Ill Clan and the recently released book from the Tamar Rising, the source books. Um, I might do a review on that one, but we got some here from the Secession era. And look at that gorgeous smile. Uh, Mano Liao. Oh my God! I wonder who she, who's who she was um based upon. Whoever the um they copied, who's the real 
person who they copied it from. But look at that sm smile. That is a smile of death upon you, man. Just that smile, and next thing you know, you're you're uh, receiving end of her PPC. <laughs> yeah, it's an interesting story about her too. So crazy. She's very crazy in the biotech universe. Um, Katafraki. Um, this over here. This is basically. This is a 3D printed one, so. Yeah, I finally finished this one. And I do have the catalyst, so I tend to field them in all, all my armies from the classic Iron Wind and 3D printed and the recently released one. And this one over here is actually from the, that came out many years ago from that starter set, the game of armor and combat. You gotta have a, you gotta have a um, catapult in your capellants. I think they feel more, um, I think they feel more catapults in that era. And I am getting another lance ready. Um, you can see over here, this is, I just recently prime and based them, so, a victor. So I might, debating, I might get another set of this, and I'm going to give it to the Federated Commonwealth Division, um, Davion um front and that's gonna be leo all the way and this is gonna be leo i'm gonna get i need leo to have a house leo to have a little bit of a impressive um array i know they're not they're the dirt poor faction that they um everybody picks on and the emperor this is an iron wind one finally got it done and Iron Man one months are very um, interesting, so I need an assault mech. I might create another assault lance for them. Just pure assault. This is I um, think I'm creating a battle lance comprised of medium and light lance. They need to have a. I need to get me the vindicator. So that will balance it out. But look at that. As you can see, and we got Heinz Davion, and there's his battle master. Very um history about that one with the alleged taking on the death commander but we know it was a bunch of comstar agent trying to do interdict and another battle master takashi kurita mm, i have a battle master i haven't painted yet i might give it to him that 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 is a that's that color scheme it looks nice with the black and i don't know it's gonna be a little bit tough when i I have to put my paint on that and my painting skills on that one once I um, get it done. And let's see. I don't want to get this thing too long, but we got we got everything from Archer, like with um, Jamie Wolf from the Wolf's Dragoon, and Natasha Karensky's um, Warhammer 6R, the Black Widow, the Black Lady. Yeah, oh, I have one like that right now. I need to paint it on her stuff. And Panther. Oh, yes. Tetsuhara. Um, his story is very interesting. I recommend um, reading that book, um, Wolves on the Border. He, he is there. And especially the audio novel. I like that one, too. And here is the Archer. Morgan Kell. I, haven't, I need to finish Morgan Kell's mech. And Grace... Get, um, Grayson Car Carlisle's um, Marauder and Justin Allard, Allard. They're in the book, so I am. I need to get me more mechs like this, like the Valkyrie. And we get, I can't tell anybody here, but I'm gonna have to go fast in here. We got some Hugo. I can't pronounce him. You gotta get the Corita, um, another War Warhammer mech that I might wanna do for him. And the Bounty Hunter. We all know about the Bounty Hunter. And Theodore Curita. I might get me another um, Orion K. Because we know it was General Kerensky's mech. So. And his aunt gifted it to him. Several other. And we got the Clan Invasion era. All that interesting stuff in a Clan Invasion are here. It tells very very interesting and another 
Kai Allard Liao. Nicholas Skarensky, you know, by then, by that time, he died before the clan invasion. So, shot in the cockpit by one of the during the Bachals during the during his he's trying to play referee and failing Kel like that one. We know there's a mech release now. It's one of those um the Wolfhound C two. It's basically that you have to assemble. But I wish that I just really release it on the general public. I don't like those limited editions. It's just kind of hard to find. And we got um, Vlad Ward and Orinsky, Ulrich Korinsky, Aiden Pride. And he still finishes mech. And Marta Pride. Adam Steiner. Problem the Adam Steiner um Max that he piloted a uh, X Men N two that's one with a double cannons in here. This is basically from the new Catalyst thing. Um, if you watch that animation show, the the BattleTech one, he that was his um favorite mech. And for Nicholas Maltus, or, and his mech uh, was quite different from this one. Um, I think they haven't made any um design for that, but I'm sure I'm sure some guy with a 3D printer will probably do that very soon. Um, Anastasia Folk, and then there's an Atlas, but I assume he always pilot a freaking Zeus or something, or one of those mechs, and yeah, um, this is from the Civil War era. You go on to the Civil War. This would go on for long. I just didn't want to spend an entire thing. Yeah. Um, Catherine St Steiner Davion. Wait. She piloted a mech? I thought she was just a machination um, person. Victor Steiner Davion. Next mech probably to be uh, worked on. The Dire Wolf. I'll probably work that one. And Sir Paul Masters, Phoenix Hulk. Some of these mech pilots, I uh, characters I'm I'm familiar with. I haven't read all of this thing, but I'm willing to read this. The Jihad era. Everybody hated this for some reason. It's probably because they get ex their exposure was in the that mech assault game that came out. In the old Xbox game. And sorry, it's shaky right now. I don't like doing this. I have this I have this guy's mech. Devlin Stone. Um I am working on it right now. Iron Man stuff. And Ooh. Wow. A lot of they um a lot of victors. Yeah, most of this thing. Oh, interesting. I need to read all these um bios in here. The Griffin. Yeah, the Dark Age era. I'm sorry, folks. Skip that. Another part that they hated is the Dark Age era. Republic of the Sphere. I have no problem with the Republic of the Sphere. And it's probably because of the um the hero clicks. That was her exposure. But and here's um another hatchet man. Yeah, I think she played a spy. I need to read more of her bios. And Anastasia Karensky, badass. I can't figure where she was. She looks like one of those actresses that I kind of seen before. She was, I think her copy was based on that. She played from Mortal Kombat, the second movie, and. Please tell me her actress's name, but she just looks like her. So that's um she's uh, actually uh, one of the badasses in the <laughs> Dark Age era. The Savage Wolf. I might have to get into me another Savage Wolf, but I'm kind of working that on for the Ill Clown right now. Oh, Melvisa Hazen. 
one crazy, another crazy pilot in the Battletech Battle lore. Yeah, the strike. I need to um, create the Black Rose. Another pilot. Another Atlas. And here comes the Ill Climb. Wow. Yeah, Ill Climbs right now has been uh, interesting. Read, there's like a time on rising, so. And. Yeah, the Leo, the Leo, they are, um, they're, they're making a comeback. They're trying to take out the Davion because Davion's in full retreat mode right now. Julian better um, act upon it. And we got some Nova Cats. Max. Yep. I think that's the it, it of it. Um, yeah, if you still have it, go get it. Um, it's just a, it's just a bunch of bios you can use. It's another lore. It's, you can get it online for probably a, around close to 30 to 40 dollars and it depends on your local retailer. Yeah. Um, I'm still working on these guys. That's my, um, update for my battle tech and I'll just leave a comment and subscribe. This is Delion Francis 60 signing off. Transmission has ended.